Okay, we need to measure our cam bearing bores. See if those bearings are fit for service or reuse. Now, when we measure them, we're gonna take two measurements, vertically and horizontally. Uh, make sure we're not on an oil hole. And we're gonna compare those measurements to manufacturer spec. Now, they say our max diameter should be no more than two, two inches and 340 thou. And the max out of round, so the difference between the vertical and the horizontal can be no greater than two thousandths of an inch. We can use several tools to measure this. The most cumbersome by far would be our inside micrometer. A little bit harder to handle, but very accurate if you're experienced with using them. A little bit easier to use and probably the the preference is the indirect measuring tool, the telescopic gauge, and then using an outside micrometer. So that's what we're going to do here. So here's our cam bore. We use our T gauge to measure it. Now remember, when you put it in here, you don't want to bottom out completely one side of this or the other. We're going to put it in. We're going to sweep it back and forth this way and look for the maximum diameter available. When we put it in though, it's also gonna be on an angle like this. And then we'll pull it through the final arc and get the most accurate measurement possible. So we'll press this guy in here, like so, okay? Make sure we're kinda of even. We have them tilted forward slightly. Kinda of move it back and forth and feel where the resistance is the least as you move it back and forth. That's dead center. Tighten them up a bit, not all the way and pull them through the arc. And that's gonna compress it just a bit more and find our best measurement. Then we can use our outside mic and measure this guy. Now we see our measurements. We had 2.327 inches and 2.330 inches on this side. Uh, they're well within spec. But if you do the math, we end up with a glare on our out of round. I actually have three thousandths of an inch out of round. And our manufacturer said two thousandths of an inch is the maximum we can have. So we will need to repair this. Now that was the easy one to get to, the outer one. What you need to do is take your T-gauge and use this to access the rest of your bearings. You can come in here and get this one. And you can come in here and get this one. Uh, it is a little bit cumbersome to get in there. And that's why this here is probably more favorable than the inside micrometer. 